Yellow there, Armaholics. Today's recon episode takes a look at a popular style of content within Armour 3, and that's the life of a guerrilla or freedom fighter. What actually is it about guerrilla warfare that appeals to players so much? No, not that kind. This kind. Is it the lawlessness feeling? Planning ambushes, plain banditry, or other irregular fighting tactics? Or is it that feeling of starting from zero, from scratch, with nothing to your name, and then building up the necessary resources, manpower, and machinery in order to finally stick it to your would-be oppressors? For me, it's the latter, and Armour 3 has provided the platform for one of my favourite mods ever created. Introducing Vindicta. Vindicta, long story short, transforms official and ported custom terrains into a cooperative guerrilla warfare experience. Your goal is simple. Free the territory from enemy occupation. So what makes this so different from, say, that liberation mission I've been playing lately? Or maybe you're an armor veteran and wondering, is this a good alternative to, say, anti-stasi? By the way, anti-stasi and especially liberation are awesome game modes, and as you know, a firm favorite of mine. But they do offer a slightly different experience to this. Well, first and foremost, it's the persistence. KP Liberation has enemy units which are spawned in active zones. They can spawn in reaction to your overall aggression level or even side objectives. Vindicta takes a different approach and applies persistence to all units, vehicles, garrisons and points of interest such as outposts, roadblocks, bases and so on. Okay, great, but how does that actually impact on things? Well, think about it. You're in the latter half of the early game and you launch an assault on an outpost. You inflict heavy casualties, but it fails, and you lose some well-earned equipment and supplies. Don't worry, we'll touch on supplies in just a moment. Next time you visit that said outpost, you'll be under-equipped. However, you'll only be facing what's left of the garrison and not a fresh spawn wave. That doesn't mean you won't be facing reinforcements, though. Instead of just spawning in random grunts to fight, Vindicta's multi-level AI will actually send troops from a more populated base to act as a QRF, or Quick Reaction Force. And yes, you guessed it, they actually deduct those troops from that particular garrison's strength or manpower numbers. You could also, for instance, destroy a base's truck or trucks. This would force the QRF to respond on foot, obviously until the AI commander would get a replenishment cycle. So you can imagine, this leads to possibilities of baiting the enemy and ambushing reinforcements. The units are all tracked virtually on the map, and when in close enough proximity, usually I think it's a, a kilometre, they will spawn in at the appropriate location. Armour veterans may naturally draw comparisons to the Alive mod, and like Alive and its profiling system, it's powerful, persistent, and less resource demanding than having everything spawn in and be in physical existence. So we touched on supplies and equipment. You have to remember, you're not a fully geared military unit. You're a group of disgruntled civvies who are helping form a resistance movement. You'll be starting off with a pistol and not much else. So making moves on small police stations, small patrols, or lone guards is your best bet at procuring more firepower at the start of your playthrough. And like the units, the weapons and supplies are tracked. No unlocking specific weapons after looting X amount. No, in fact, everything down to first aid kits is tracked and can be added to the storage crates at back at one of your bases or hideouts. Now here's the clever part. You can recruit more resistance members if you hold population centers, and you get to choose what equipment that new recruit takes from your existing pool of finite resources. This approach makes you mourn every loss, manpower and equipment wise, and it also has the added bonus of making your growing insurgency look realistically ragtag and like something actually thrown together. It's simple and it's genius. Recon and Intel actually play a key role in your journey to freedom. At the start of a new campaign, no enemy locations are actually known to the players. You can actually discover more by talking to civilians and getting the latest gossip. Or you can physically scout probable locations yourself. The Intel system, in my opinion, is quite frankly brilliant. Uh, some soldiers actually carry tablets or intel items. These will give you a, a glimpse into enemy commanders' intentions, such as where nearby patrols have started from and their intended destinations. Also found in these tablets are crypto keys. Crypto keys can be decrypted at a player-built radio shack. Doing so can further enhance your intelligence gathering, revealing supply convoys, further troop movements, etc. 
So you're probably getting the idea how these systems can work together to supply a rather unique experience in Armour 3. But wait guys, there's actually more. Vindicta features a very intuitive undercover system, which calculates suspiciousness off players based on their behaviour, clothes, stance and visibility in vehicles. Just don't get too close to sensitive areas or you'll be arrested or shot. It's probably good advice for the real life too guys. Yeah, take that how you will. Players can also deploy custom bases, camps and roadblocks, but bear in mind resources aren't pulled globally. If you spawn somewhere where you haven't built a storage crate, of which actually has stuff in, then you'll be fighting with your starter pistol. And lastly, but not the final feature by any means, is the campaign customization. Vindicta supports a large amount of custom modded factions and has been made compatible with most well-known terrains out there. Now this mod is hard work if you're intending to play solo. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely doable, but in my opinion the fun comes in cooperation and it's ideally aimed at smaller groups. And its custom save system allows you to pick up from where you last left off very, very easily. You don't have to be in a unit. Get yourself or a friend to host and just load it up when you're all free to play for a bit. Now I do have some unfortunate news, Vindicta isn't being actively developed further, however the team is still providing fixes, faction additions and terrain selections. They have a close knit but active discord, word of advice people, read the FAQ and support stuff over on their website. As with most things technical or gameplay related, it's probably already been asked and answered, so save yourself and others time and do check the FAQ before firing your inquiries over. Like Liberation and Antistasi, there is a subsection over on the Discord if you want to find a game with like-minded players, so do check it out. Armour has been kept alive not just by the sheer amount of mods, but the fact that you guys are such an awesome interactive bunch. There's not that many games out there that after nearly 10 years can still support a bustling community like ours. Further to this, I think we should just make sure awesome mods, missions and campaigns such as this are not missed by potential newcomers. So going forward guys, we've already taken a look at the recent Creator DLCs, KP Liberation, and now Vindicta, and I think the Recon series could easily support mod and mission showcases either wrapped up under the Recon series brand, or even a separate showcase series. What I'd like to know from you guys, is there anything in particular you'd like me to throw your way, or would you rather keep having the lucky bag of random content? With Vindicta, I could have obviously gone into greater detail, but I feel there should always be room for player exploration. I do hope, however, this has given you a really good snapshot of what Vindicta can be capable of. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video, guys. If you have, then please take the time to give that old like button a clickety-boo. Interact in the comments. And finally, if you have genuinely enjoyed the content, hit that subscribe button for more assorted armor content. I've been Hasbo, and as always, I'll see you over in the next one. Bye. What the literal fuck? What? <clears throat>